Composer HE is for users who want to go beyond what their Control 4 installer sets up. Composer HE, which runs in Windows, makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with a button tap, and more. If you haven't done so yet, view the Composer HE features and overview video before you start using Composer HE. That video will walk you through the Composer HE interface and menus. This video assumes that Composer HE is already installed and activated on your computer. If not, check with your dealer. In this video, I'll explain a little bit about Composer HE and the media, agents, and programming views. Specific examples about how to use the agents and programming are provided in subsequent Composer HE videos. As a precaution, Composer HE lets you configure your own system, but it does involve some risk for which you must assume responsibility. There's a chance you could disable your system if you configure or program your devices incorrectly. Learning how to use Composer HE may require some patience and testing. If you configure something wrong, you will most likely need to be able to fix it yourself or contact your dealer. Any changes you make to your system will take effect immediately. Whenever you load a project, you reset your current system configuration. If you make a mistake, you can open the last project you saved. Always be sure to back up your project by going to File and Backup, or File and Backup As in the menu bar. Always save your media information when you back up. Otherwise, you'll lose the media metadata in your project, and you'll have to scan your media library again. There is no undo in Composer HE. If you make a change you don't want, you can always go back to a previously saved project, or change the settings back the way they were before you made the change. So here's the Composer HE icon on the desktop. I'll just double-click it to open the program. I can also open Composer HE from the Start menu. There are two ways to open Composer HE and connect to Director. Director on Local Network and Remote Director. You use Remote Director when you're away from your Control 4 system and outside your firewall, but you still want to make some changes to your project. Later, when you're home, you can open that same project and use it as your current project when you connect to your local network. By the way, Director is a software that runs on your primary controller, which is the brains of your Control 4 system. If you're doing this for the first time, review Composer HE Getting Started on the Control 4 website. Make sure you have Remote Access enabled if you use Remote Director. Talk to your dealer for details. In addition to accessing Director, you can also click Exit Composer to close Composer HE. However, make sure you back up your project before you close the application. For this project, I'm on my local network at home, so I'll just click Director on Local Network. That way, I can make immediate changes to my system. In the next screen, I'll select the director I want to access, and then click Connect. Always make sure your Composer version matches the operating system version of your controllers when you open your project. You may see error messages if they're not the same. To find out, click Help, then About in the menu bar. When I open the About page, I can see that the two versions match. If the versions don't match, you'll need to log in to the Control 4 customer website at customer.control4.com and download the correct version of Composer HE. Do not make any changes if the versions don't match. Click File, then Exit in the menu bar to close the application. Before you exit, back up Composer HE by creating a unique file name for your project. When you do, the file saves to your local drive under Programs, Control 4, the Composer version, and Projects. Let's check out the views. First, I'll go to the Media view. The Media View lets you add music and movie metadata to your system, so you can play music, watch videos, create playlists, set up a regular media scanning schedule, add radio stations and TV channels, and more from your remote, 
touchscreens, My Home apps, or your TV's on-screen display. Now, let's go to the Agents view. The Agents view lets you add and manage a variety of agents, most of which you can use in programming. Agents are modules that enhance a program and let you do things like create an announcement that displays on your touchscreens to let your family know when dinner is ready, set up a schedule for lights and other devices to go on at sunset and off at bedtime, and more. Whatever you can think of to automate, you can probably do with a Control 4 system. Before you can use an agent, you'll need to add it to the Composer HE project. It's best to only add agents you're really going to use, and you can add an agent at any time. So I'll click Add in the Agents pane, select the agent I want to add, and then click OK. At this point, you probably don't know which agents you'd like to add. So let's talk about each agent for a few minutes to get a better idea about what you can do with them. The Variables agent lets you create variables when commands, conditionals, and loops don't work well in your program. Variables are quantities or functions that assume a given value. The ForStore agent lets you set up and manage ForStore logins, purchase fun ForStore apps and themes, enhance existing devices, and more. Go to ForStore.com to see all of the great apps available to enhance your system and its devices, and then refer to the Composer HE user guide for more information. The Advanced Lighting Agent lets you view or change lighting states, view, track, toggle, ramp, or fade lighting scenes, set delays to turn lighting scenes on or off, use scene sequencing, flashlights in lighting scenes, and more. This particular agent works best with the newer panelized lighting and next generation lighting devices, but you can use older lighting devices with this agent as well. Make sure you have the latest software to use this agent. The Rhapsody agent, which requires a subscription, lets you enable or disable Rhapsody for your system. Rhapsody lets you listen to millions of songs. You'll need to set up a Rhapsody account before you can use this agent. The Scheduler agent defines conditionals of time to the system and lets you schedule events in programming. For example, you can set dates and times to start and stop a lighting scene. While on vacation, you can set the lights to come on at sunset and turn off at 11 p.m. The SNMP configuration agent is a dealer-only tool that allows your dealer to receive alerts and maintain your system in case your home network malfunctions. You won't actually be able to do anything with this agent. The access agent lets you hide buttons on a navigator, such as a touchscreen, and then use a pin code to unlock the icons for use. This is a great way to keep the kids from tampering with the settings on your touchscreens. Make sure you have the latest software to use this agent. The Announcements agent lets you play a pre-recorded .wav file or display a text message whenever something occurs in programming. For example, an audio announcement can play on any audio device in specific rooms, or a text message can display on navigators. For example, an audio announcement can play on any audio device in specific rooms or allows a text or picture message to be displayed on your TV on screen or touch screens. The Media Scenes agent allows you to create a scene that plays music in selected rooms. For example, you can configure one or more rooms to play the same playlist at the same volume. The Custom Buttons agent lets you create either four custom buttons per room or global access buttons on your touchscreens, TV on screen, smartphones, or tablets with My Home for specialized actions. You can create up to 24 custom buttons. For example, you can create an away custom button to turn off all the lights and the TV when you leave the house. The email notification agent sends an email message whenever a programming event occurs. For example, say you want to know when the garage door opens or when the kids unlock the front door when they come home from school so you have the system send you an email notification when those events occur. The Intercom agent lets you configure Intercom on supported touchscreens, send broadcasts to touchscreens, add Intercom groups, set Intercom properties, monitor rooms, and more. A license is required. Check with your dealer for details. The Macros agent uses programming for repeated events. For example, 
you've set up a program to turn on music to a specific radio station, and turn on the lights in the kitchen and the theater. Now, you want to create an identical program, but with some changes. Using macros makes it easy to copy and modify one program for another, so you don't have to create an entirely new program. The screensaver agent lets you link your favorite photos to display on your navigators from a USB drive or network drive. The timer agent lets you start, stop, or repeat a timer based on a given event and action. For example, if the bathroom fan is on, you can use a timer to turn the bathroom fan off after 15 minutes. The video wall agent, for 10 and a half inch touchscreens only, lets you control multiple video screens on a wall simultaneously from a touchscreen. For example, you can watch a different sporting event on each of four different TV screens in your home theater. The wake up agent lets you set a wake up time on your navigators to wake you up. For example, set the bedroom light to slowly ramp up to 80%. And then, start your favorite radio station at a low volume to wake you up every morning. For specific examples about how to use agents in programming, see subsequent Composer HE videos, coming soon. Now, let's take a look at the programming view. The programming view lets you program the agents I just described with the devices in your system for a superior home lifestyle experience. That way, your system responds the way you want it to, every time. Programming lets you create specific events and actions that prompt your devices to behave a certain way. Let's compare it to baking a cake. You gather all of the ingredients, the agents. You add and mix the ingredients together by adding the agents, events, and customized set of actions and commands that you want in your program, and then you bake the cake by completing the program. All programming begins with an event which is a win statement or a trigger that something happened resulting in an automated action. Events occur instantaneously. For example, in the device events pane on the left, if I select front porch, and then in the front porch events pane, I select level changes, I can see that when the entryway front porch level changes appears in the script pane, this indicates that when the front porch light level changes, something is going to happen. This could mean that you want music to start playing or certain lights to come on in the house. After the event communicates to the system that something happened, for example, when the entryway front porch level changes, an action in the device actions pane sends a notification to the system to do something after the light changes. For example, when the entryway front porch level changes, the event just took place. I want to turn on the dining room table light, which is an action. So you're telling the system to turn the dining room light on from the device actions pane. A command is a do statement. Commands are actions that further define what a device should do. For example, when the entryway front porch level changes, again, this is an event. Turn on the dining table light is an action the system should follow that includes a command. A delay lets you delay an action that is taking place. For example, when the front porch light turns on, delay 5 seconds, and then turn on the dining table light. A stop lets you stop all programming. You can use this command when you want to stop the program and start a new sequence of events within the same program. A break lets you break out of a conditional loop when a specified condition is met. A conditional is an if statement that asks a true or false question to the device. For example, if the door closes and the dimmer is on, this is a conditional. You want to tell the system to turn the dimmer off. This is an action. A variable further defines the conditional. The script pane lists the events and actions you choose to build the lines of script for your program. You can move events and actions into the pane by selecting and dragging the text lines directly into the script pane. No need to write your own script lines. Composer HE does that for you. You only need to logically figure out what you want the system to do. I'll show you how to do that in subsequent Composer HE videos.